All right, guys, so tomorrow we've got an interesting little idea we're toying with here. Up in this bag, I've got myself some blue crabs. I'm gonna run out into the ocean tomorrow. We're gonna look for fish. I've got about a mile worth of real estate to cover and try to locate a couple fish. Efficient way I have to do this is I'm gonna have to run around and jig. As soon as I get a couple bites and figure out where the fish are kind of located on these ocean structures, uh, I kind of want to mix it up. I want to chunk the crab baits and catch black drum, sheep's head, etc. I also want to start trying to mess around with the artificial crabs. One of the goals I have uh, is to kind of figure out my backup method, uh, especially during the winter months, to catch stuff like sheep's head and black drum on these ocean structures uh, because of the fact that uh, the trash fish get real bad in the winter. Stuff like uh, ringtails and oyster toadfish and small black sea bass at times make bait fishing totally ineffective. If I can really figure out a way to start catching these, you know, higher end uh, bottom fish with the artificial lures, uh, I'm winning, right? So tomorrow we're just gonna jig these guys as is. This is a three quarter ounce chase baits crab. I've caught some reds in the marsh with these and some small speckled trout but I haven't really given a go in the ocean. So I'm just gonna try to jig these after I get a bite going with the artificials and the regular crabs uh, and after I located my fish. And we'll see how it does. Uh, I would love to see if I can pull off a sheep's head on an artificial here in the ocean. Um, if that doesn't work out, the next time, well, well, we'll find a little more. I was thinking maybe the next time I'll try it on a knocker rig or like a drop shot rig. I've got a couple other ideas, so. Tomorrow we'll just jig them as is. We got our crabs to chunk in the ocean, we got our artificials, and we've got our little experiment. I gotta try to improve on a couple better plan Bs and, and new options and di diversify my ocean fishing skill set. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, all right, let's tune back in in the morning, see how it goes. That one sucks. Nothing to do with her or her. You're committed, even if you screw it up, still got a chance. Well, we're bringing it out into the ocean today. Weather hasn't been great. It's probably my only day of ocean fishing this week. It hasn't been too much going on, honestly. So, uh, I'm gonna take it off onto the structures and piece together the bite from there. Looks like something. Oh, oh. this guy. I guess they like it when it blows east. There's a couple reds here. Got him. Got him. Playing coy with me, my friend. Sick. So sick. It's so sick. Jigging these fish is so freaking awesome. That's a big one too. I recommend everyone go redfish jigging one time in your life. Just once. Alright. Look at that redfish, man. Nice one. Very nice fish. Average. Good sized fish. Yeah. 38, 39 inch, or maybe a 40. It's really. There. Start of it. Possibly a couple fish. 36 feet of water. Um, this is where we hook that fish. No lying stuff, not too much relief. If I go a little further up, the release gets heavy. That there is probably a predator fish of some sort. Gotta stop. 
you can't guess what it is, you gotta just try to fish it. Fish it. And you can guess, but it's not always what you guessed. Uh, I'm gonna use, I've been using a little Procure. Started using it again. some nasty stuff here. Really rarely get them off of this quick. Oh, he is as big as the other one. He's bigger. He just wanted to come up. Sometimes I like coming up, man. They're funny. That is a good one. That's one of the bigger drum. Lots of nice spots on him. See all those? Really? That's awesome. This one's easily over 30 pounds. Probably, uh, you know, 42, 43 in here. Oh. Alright guys, I've got something I wanted to try. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch something on this guy. This is something I've wanted to try for a little while now. And uh yeah. well, we know we can catch him on my shot. That was a really nice fish actually. Very happy to see a drum of that size. Alright, we're gonna get right back on where I hooked that last one. I think I got down there. It's hard to tell. I think I got some fish down there eyeballing it. Just chicken a very slow. Don't want to give up on it yet. I feel like I got a shot. I guess not. I was hoping, hoping we get some action on this guy, but we got to go with what works, man. So what's funny about this is, uh, this is the exact same spot I was just dropping that chase baits crab on. And uh, there's nothing, no hits on that. One right back to the paddle tail. Here we go. It's over, buddy. It's a good one. It's a nice fish. All right, red rum. It's a really 
is state is South Carolina state fish also redfish? Yeah. It is. That's a nice fish, probably not. Oh come on buddy. He kicked me. Get back. There he goes. Wanna fish bait, right? Sometimes you can. Let's see if we can pull off the sheep's head black drum uh, redfish combo. Alright, this is a new rod right here. It's the Jigging World Hybrid. Um, I think it's kind of cross between uh, the Jigging World Nexus and the, the Night Ranger, which is right behind me. I've been a big fan of these rods. Um, they are very nice. Um, they are pretty much tailored to my type of fishing. Inshore jigging or near shore jigging. Um, bait fishing and, and going light at it with it too. So I've got a couple blue crabs in here. I'm gonna quarter them down. Ooh, squirted in my face. That's the worst, huh? Crab juice. <laughs> I just got crab juice squirted in my face. Uh, there was an episode of The Simpsons, uh, my older audience, where Homer was in New York and he went up to the street meat cart or the street food cart and he asked them what, what do they have to drink and the guy's like, crab juice or Mountain Dew? And he's like, ew, I'll take the crab juice. I don't know, it just made me think of that. Just getting crab juice in my eye. Um, all right, we're gonna drop some crabs. Uh, maybe we can complete a slam of sheep's head and black drum. Uh, that's three fish on the jig, uh, all in the same spot. I tried the artificial crab. Nope. Back to the drawing board. It was interesting that we didn't get the life on that guy. I suppose these fish get tuned in on very specific profiles. And I've caught fish on that before, but not out in the ocean. I've used these inshore and I've caught... Um, uh, speckled trout on them mostly. We got, looks like we had a bite on it actually. Doubled up. You got a red? I've got... I've got black drum. The other drum flavor. That's a pretty decent one. Not a bad one. 25, somewhere around there. That's no toadfish. A little smaller actually. Probably like 33, 34. Well, a little bit on the smaller side here. You know, and I don't think I've ever gut hooked a fish on these bottom sweeper jigs. You just get such good um, sensitivity with these little jigs when you do this red fishing. 
Uh, you never gut hook them, man. Send them away. All right, so this last set of structure, uh, we didn't mark any fish on it. Um, it's just some pretty snaggy stuff. I'm kind of just dropping the crabs right on the head of it, the, the, the snaggy part of it. And I'm just trying to hold the jig out of the snags, which easier said than done, I know. Um, let me just show you. So th this one produced a black drum and a redfish. It's not one that I jig on very much because it's usually you start snagging stuff into it. As soon as you really start snagging stuff heavily on some of these pieces, it's not always the best move, you know what I'm saying? So let me show you this one. I don't see life on it, but it's, uh, yeah, this one will, will get you good. This one will snag you real hard. All right, so I got to put the crabs right on that. So we're on one black drum and four reds? Yeah, four reds. That's not too bad. Nothing else really out here right now. Oh, yeah. I'm not too sure what this is. Can we complete the slam with a sheep's head? It's very possible that's what this is. Oh yeah, we did. The crab eating slam. That's the, the southern, southern reef slam. That's uh, Decent sheep's head. Sometimes called convict fish. Another crab eating fish. This isn't really a big one, even. Um, 18, 19. Probably like a four or five pounder. Um, tasty fish, obviously. Right, I'll put this guy back. Oh, well, we knocked out three species on the blue crabs red drum, black drum, and sheep's head. Could not catch on the artificial. It looks great. Caught them in the marsh with them. Uh, mostly uh, small puppy reds, but and a couple of speckled trout. But out here in the ocean, real deal, man. All right, it, we actually just picked that sheep's head on the first spot where I caught all those um, drum earlier on the jig. And I decided to, you know, wrap around the whole area and come back with crabs for a second. Could be anything. I think it's another sheep said, man. It is. Dude, check that out. You need the light rod to feel the bite of the sheep's head. This one's a good one, actually. Seems like this is some trivial shit. Earlier, I was using a three quarter ounce or one ounce bottom sweeper. Uh, we had a little more current and now that I, the current um, has died out, I went up down to a half ouncer. And these fish are really, um, they're responding well to a much lighter jig. This is like handling a, this is like handling a porcupine in your kayak, man. That's what I call sheep said. It's the porcupine. That's a nice sheep's head, man. All right.
Yeah, but I did just see a span, like my first. Oh, you did see a couple? That's encouraging. Doesn't matter. It's still a sign of life, you know? There you go. Was that a king? I think that was a king. Big, though. I went down to like half ounce jigs, man. Real light. No, I mean the size of the jig I went down to. Went down to I went down to a half ounce. It made a big difference. They definitely get more calm when they're upside down. And just nut this one. This will make my life a lot easier. There you go. Healthy looking redfish here. Is it the same one? It looks. Is it really the same fish? If you want to take a look at him, he's got gashes all over him. This one, he don't look good. I don't know. He don't look. Those don't look fresh. No, those aren't fresh. Those look like old shark bites, man. We're dolphin. You can tell. That's freaking cool. Yeah, this is a... These are old. These, these are some pretty old scars, man, but you can definitely tell that's... Tax, man. Got him. That's crazy. It's a big fish, too. Check out the scars on this guy, man. Armor. Yeah, man. That's a shark's bite for sure. This drum is probably uh, another 40, 42, 43 incher. Gosh. He knows how to get back to the bottom. I think so. Oh, that's a good one. Something trashy. Ooh. Growth. That's the bottom. All sorts of living things in there. All right, uh, we're headed in now. I'm trolling in Thai West, Pimento. Maybe get a Spanish mackerel, call it. Uh, we're King Mackerel Miracle. It was interesting. We started the day off just jigging the paddle tails. Three fish right off the bat, all good sized redfish. Um, and then we, we switched it up to bait, mixed it up a little bit. Could not catch on the artificial crabs, even though I've caught those with those inshore. Out here, it's like the real deal was the only thing that got hit. And I was on fish and I tried it a couple of times. I had one bump on that crab. And, uh, well, now we're just trolling a SP Minnow in. There'll be affiliate links in the video's description, everything we used. It's the new rod from Jigging World. That's the hybrid. I did a bunch of nice threads on it. The other one's the Jigging World, the Night Ranger. Also awesome. And uh, it was a really good day of fishing overall. A lot of different fish. Uh, hopefully the examples of looking at the structures of fish help. And uh, what to look for on the screen to have a good day of fishing. Um, this is, I'm in North Carolina, but uh, if you're watching and from up north, you can literally 
copy and paste what I did for stripers, totog, weak fish, all those fish up north, the black sea bass. It's literally a copy and paste formula that you can catch fish just like that too. So, you know, replace those red fish with striped bass, replace the sheep's head with totog, and replace the black drum with black sea bass. And you're literally to the T, uh, same formula. Keep it in mind. Okie dokie, let's hit the beach, see what's up.